supposed to say? Ring the notification bell. Oh yeah, that. Yeah, you will get notified every time we get a new video. Yeah, exactly. It'll tell you what we're up to. Or at least <laughs> when we're up to. Or when we're up to something we're up to. Well guys, before we get going on today's project, I had a viewer ask me about the Studebaker. So here she is, she's still here. She's just uh, up there on the lift on the back burner for now. But we got a couple other projects we have to get to. We wanna finish up the Case 830. Uh, we got the dozer, we gotta finish that up. I've got the Dodge Ram 2500 Common Rail Cummins. It's at the machine shop, so when that comes back, we gotta put new pistons and bearings, basically rebuild it. And another thing I gotta do is that 4.7 Dodge. Uh, nobody seems to care about that at all anyway. <laughs> but anyway, that's uh, what I gotta do first, and then we'll get back to that Studebaker. Unless something else falls in our lap that distracts us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Enough said. All right, guys, thanks a lot. Oh, man, I don't remember what goes there, do you? Rusty bits. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's a pin. Oh. Don't you worry, took all that stuff apart. Look at well, all that. Well, it kind of fell apart. I wish I could take credit for taking it apart intelligently. But, uh, <laughs> oh, once again, we've done something. Mm, nope. Take it apart and not know where parts go. That's more awesome. like uh, entropy kicked oh, in and just kind of fell apart. You I don't know. even know what that means. That means that everything falls apart. Oh. Oh, awesome. There, your, you mean it was automatic? It's your physics lesson. Yeah. It was the way of the world. Destruction is automatic. <laughs> Putting things back together isn't. <laughs> well, our neighbor Myron once said, I'm just a butcher. I take things apart. Mainly, he was talking about carcasses. Like Pete, a real butcher? Uncle Pete was putting his John Deere 70 back together. He said, ooh, the difference between a butcher and a mechanic is you could put stuff back together. Yeah, it's pretty hard to reassemble a beef cow. <laughs> I smell some editing. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to hear about beef cows. Or do they? I had these loose at one time. we got to make sure those get tightened back up. Yeah, this might need to come apart. No! If it's as contaminated as everything else. Well, here's yes. what we do. You ready for this, Smiley? Blow it out. We blow it out. We just blow, we just function it and let it flow some fluid through it freely off, oh. out of each four of the four ports. And we call it good. Yeah, that thing you're doing now, that's a part of the mount for the floorboard, yeah. Well, I just found out that the uh, Minneapolis Moline G1, G1000s had a Vista. And the difference was they sat a foot higher. So you got a great Vista. Oh, yeah. Vista Cruiser? Kind of like a Vista Cruiser, yeah. It's all about the view. All right. Cut. There we go. Using a ratchet strap to even it up because we got to drop this down. Two more ratchets. That guy right there with the splines has to line up with this right here. Well, I don't want to wrangle this around too much because there's a seal down there. Kind of just putting a little lick of that black RTV room temperature vulcanizing. Vulcanizing cream? Yeah, vulcanizing cream. Mm -hmm. And beauty ointment. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you ought to take this shifter off. What? Oh. I can pretty easily. Well, it'll take you a second. Take that shifter off. Let me get this. Yeah. Good idea. So I'm going to see if I can find TCH. I think I can. That's what the book called for originally, right? Yeah. It says to put it into the case matic and the transmission and actually the power steering. What? Transmission. So yeah, it should, it should be TCH PS. PS. For power steering. Sounds like a bunch of PS. Ah. <laughs> I didn't say BS. I said PS. I know. Oh. I picked it straight up. Look what happened. It's just what I wanted. Jack faster. Yeah, zip tie I put on there for those linkages. That's gotta get this cut. Man, more drool on our floor. This thing's been drooling around our shop for a month now. I'm so happy to get it on the tractor. Boy, it's really going up crooked. Yeah, because you hooked this strap to this. What is that? Some kind of physics? Physics. Kicking it again. I hate physics. It's gonna only droop more. Ha ha! Oh, uh, it's real funny. Well, you can ratchet it up more. You got a lot to take out of it. Probably enough. All right, looks like Connor's changing our strappage everywhere. The only problem is Connor is going to try to spin it the wrong direction like that. We'll see about that. Oh, Patience. you're darn right. We'll see about that. See, look it up there. Ah, uh, those were nice new ratchet straps just moments ago. Now they're all grimy, greased up. <laughs> That's kind of what we do, though. Everything we got is covered in grease and grime, including my clothes. Okay, you're coming in, huh? He's coming in hot. Take that foot. This way? Yeah. Gotta make karate noises. Hey! Or up and Z. Yeah, you gotta get up over those pedals. Is that clean enough? Clean enough. I need off it. That's not saying much. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> so I walked into that one, didn't I? Probably clear in most buffets. <laughs> I think you're high enough now. Just gonna clear. Come to Papa. My heavens, Connor. It's perfectly high enough. Now, am I gonna be able to turn it? 
The only thing is, it's crooked that way. We might want to have to crank the handle to well, first start bringing it down in. It'll... Let's get it down first and see what it does. Yeah, it might, okay. It might change the approach. I was trying to say. The approach angle, it's like landing a plane. Easy does it. Boy, it is just like landing a plane, even right down to the noises. What am I hitting? No. Nothing serious. Um, I might have a glitch. Hold it. PTO shift lever's in our way. Oh, that's funny. You gotta thread it through. Do you remember that? I know. This is all coming back to me now. We had the same issue taking it off. That we need to thread on, so we gotta push that way over. Luckily, all this stuff is very light. There we go. Well, that was fun. That was cool. You gotta bring it down. Hold it. You're really close. You got dowels to land it on. I do. Let's level it up. You gotta take a notch on it. Have to do it the old-fashioned way. That's difficult. It's gonna drop the whole thing. No, it isn't. Cause I'm gonna do it right. You ready? Yep. Oh, I got one notch. How's that? One more notch. Okay, something's holding it up. Oh, what? Guess what's holding this up? The arms, right down there. We kinda should have it hooked in a different way. Yeah. How do we get it off of these? We were down here. Yeah, we had it hooked different. Let's tip it down, we'll put a block of wood behind it, we'll read chain. What was that? I don't know. Now, if I go that way with it, Resting? I think so. It's resting. Peacefully up here. resting? It's resting up here. I hope it's resting back there. Yep, you got the weight off it. Hold it. As long as I don't mess up our awesome PTO lever, the only thing scaring me. My fingers are the only thing scaring me. Maybe it would get that one. Mm. Woo Mommy. Now we got scared it. Oh, I done did got scared it. Well, now we're not a good time to think about that. Pull it back. Pull it back my way? Yeah. Like that. <laughs> well, that done did scared me. Oh, we're real close, but you got to ratchet the front up. Yep. Ooh. Is that pretty level? Yeah. It is. All right. But is it timed right? Uh, yeah, I think it is. It's uh, got to go back my way. This thing's got to go my way. If I had a screwdriver, I could manipulate it. Let me stick my head in here. That's a great idea. So this little shaft, it's got to get into these splines right here, and it's got to be timed right. There's a little dot there, and there's a dot on top of the shaft. Yeah. Can you see the dot? Yeah. It moved back. Oh, right, is that far out? Right there. So we wouldn't have yeah. been on anyway. No, we wouldn't have. Like right there. Okay. I know what I want to do. It's got a little bit of a detent. Uh huh. So if I put a screwdriver down in there, wiggle it around. The hell out of my way. I can move stuff around. That shaft moves a lot too. It does. There's no easy way to put your fingers in there without risking them. Uh, I don't want to put my fingers in there. <laughs> right there. Now if I hold this steady, I'm holding the whole thing steady. Can you hold the screwdriver too? No. Because if I let go of this thing, it's going to move. I try and uh, grow that extra tail. And, uh, so evolution. If we evolved from monkeys with tails, then why did we evolve to not have them? How is that an evolution? That's a de-evolution. No, I'm Andy. sorry you don't have a tail. I wish I had one right now. It's because we wear pants, Connor. Gosh, everybody knows that. I think it's in the same spot. I don't think anything moved. So I think we're in good shape. Stop. 
Okay, now I'll move that whole thing up. Now maybe you can wiggle it, just got enough weight on it to wiggle yeah, it around. That's the way to assemble this. Let it drive that up, and then put it yeah, on Well, it just, it just drove that up, but not that far. Does it look lined up still, or? No. The gear is, you mean, a, there, you, you just dropped in. It did. Now, is the timing mark right, though? <laughs> timing mark, perfect. Ha 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 ha. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Fixing a tractor. Just like we're always doing. And I'm filming it too, so don't swear like you usually do. <gasps> no, me never. Whoa, hold it. I don't know why it's not just dropping down on because it didn't push up on the thing this time. That's hopefully not pushing it right out the bottom of the transition. I know, that's what I'm worried about. Why don't you put a couple of the bolts in? We got bolts? Because that'll line us up. Probably have really long ones we could use to line up. I do actually. Right here's one. Oh, I can take care of that. Well, wait a minute. Just give me a bar. I'll pry up on the back. I bet it drops right on. There you go. That helped. Hammer. It's there. Just gotta let it down. It's down, but... Ooh, it's, the front's not down yet. The front's not down? Not quite. Not all right. You got a bar? Oh, I got a bar right here. What is that pivoting on? Is it the chain itself? Oh, it is pivoting on something. It is. Oh, what? Take all these bolts out now. Yeah. We don't need them there. All right. So we got it lined up. It's down on the dowels. But you know, it's just a matter of the dowel's not dropping in. Oh, it is. It's that one right there. I think it's perfect. Let me see that hammer. Gentle, gentle, Connor. Yeah. Don't break it. Boy, that is the sound of stuff going on. Maybe it's time to put the bolts in around the dowels and gently tighten them down. Well, that's not usually the case, though. I mean, usually when things are going to go, they're going to go. We can get the rig right out of the way, can't we? I think so. My hands are greasy. Why wasn't I wearing gloves? Always talk about wearing gloves. But it's harder with gloves. Everything's harder with gloves, but it's also dirty. Yes, man. That's why they make go jump. You know, like, I hate being all dirty. It's all full of carcinogens that haven't killed me yet, so. Sitting on something? Put your peepers in there. Uh, I don't like that. Oh, uh, breaky, breaky. There you go. Just drop right on. Yep. Just need to lift up on one side. I'm probably telling you, we would listen. Just did it. Uh, all right, Connor, have it all together by the time I get back. <laughs> Just kidding. What's that, Smith? I don't think it did. It's not a bad thing, you just use it. Well, it's on. Just a matter of putting uh, things back together. It took a little bit to get it to drop down on that dowel, but we got it. So we got a little bit more on, done on the tractor. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'm breaking, I'm breaking over 300 subscribers. And like, or even dislike, because both are good for the algorithm. See you on the next one.